Dietrich right there knocking in a shot. She was in the Washington Mystics training camp a couple of seasons ago out of Princeton. Here's Williams. Hand off to Dietrich. Spins. Excuse me. Spins. Kicks at Williams. Laney cutting through the cave. And Chrissy. But not Here she is. That one a little long. A bigger lineup with the exception of Leilani Mitchell on the floor for Coach Tebow right now. The backdoor cut from Laney. Atkins just have all of the teams in the league thus far. Glad it's not my job. <laughs> yeah, she's a toughie. I'm glad I am washed up and retired. <laughs> As Laney gets the drive and the layup. Right, and the other thing is, is because no one really has a scouting report on Stella Johnson, they're just leaving her wide open. Yeah. Uh, back to back threes, that might not be the move. Uh, she's a bucket getter. Over 2,100 points at Ryder. Two time conference player of the year for Ryder. That green light is neon right now for the <laughs> rookie, Stella Johnson, knocking in her third three of the evening. And if you know anything about Creighton basketball, you know that their defense is always staunch and they're always on point on that side of the floor. Laney knocks down the jumper. A little weave action there and get Laney downhill. Billings and Laney running into each other, almost lost the rebound again. They did that in the first half. Here's Williams, over to Courtney Williams, uses the Elizabeth Williams screen. Laney. Atkins ran her off the three-point line. She still gets the jumper to go in the paint. But the side and inside. Maisha Hines Allen came to get some work done. As we set up for most improved player in the WNBA this season after averaging just two points last year. And you know, they really miss Latoya Sanders in there, but she taught Maisha Hines Allen so much in that position. But you find the finals MVP strike into the hoop. You gotta dive hard. If your teammate has the ball, it's your job to make yourself available by taking a purposeful cut like Emma Mieseman just did on that nice dive cut to the rim. Laney. Shot clock winding down. She's got to take it and she in. Atlanta's only taken seven. They're three of seven from beyond the arc. The Mystics, 10 of 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. I mean, that's what Washington wants to do. I mean, they took 28 threes last game against Vegas, only made eight of them. So they're already ahead of that mark right now. Weapons, Megan. She's only got seven points this evening. I imagine the way that she's played consistently, even in this uh, losing streak, she's gotten the attention of the yes. scouting report. She's also had to deal with defending both Courtney Williams and Benaja Laney. Yeah, and she wants that challenge on the defensive end. She's one of the best defenders as tonight. Benaj Laney, after that timeout, she was what to do, and there's nothing more empowering to hear from your coach to say, just go and play free. 30 on Monumental Sports Network with Mystics Virtual Game Day, and then stay with us for tip-off at 8 in the fourth quarter. An eight-point lead for Washington. Billings came for the double. Laney in transition. Lead now down to six. Yeah, let her let it go. She's played great. You can see her through your target. <laughs> I know, I was like... So you got one more rule going. Turnover sends Laney the other way. Another transition button. And you don't get involved. You have to stay involved. Williams to inbound. Gets it into Billings. Definitely out of her comfort zone from beyond the arc. As Laney is not. And 